Hey there everybody, Clint from J-Ball Electronics back with you. Today we're going to do the top 5 Texa Pro Tips. Number 5 is pairing the Navigator TXT with your Texa software. So here we're going to go into a diagnosis of our Peterbilt with a Cummins engine. Click confirm and it pops up it recognizes we're, we don't have our TXT configured. Click configure. It's going to take us in and show us our address and now it's going to be scanning for tools within range. We really don't recommend using the USB cable that comes with your Texa. We've had a couple devices get an electrical shock and have to go in for repairs. So here we see that our TXT uh, Bluetooth connection has just become unpaired. It's forgotten itself. So we just click the little toggle button down at the bottom. We says it's configuring the tool. And when it's done, we're going to click the right arrow next and exit the program. Brings us back out to the vehicle we're diagnosis. diagnosing. Click start. Confirm. And it's giving us the progress indicator showing that that we're good to go in to work on this. Just going to cancel out of here and show you the other way of getting into it. So sometimes you get a white screen that says cannot connect to device. And, and what you need to do then is come up to the settings icon at the top of your screen. When you're in a diagnosis looking at a vehicle, come down to your magic wand here. You're going to see your address again. Click next. Scan for USB tools, sorry, Bluetooth tools within range. Again, we don't recommend connecting over the USB cable. And here, when it does recognize it, you'll see that it's still toggled to blue. We click next and exit, and we're done. Tip number four, accessing last 20 vehicles worked on in Texas. So the scenario is you're working on something, a higher priority comes up and you need to switch tasks. So let's say you were working on something, somebody comes in, they've got a Freightliner, with the Cummins and they want you to work on it. Well, before that you were working on a Peterbilt with a Packard. You can go all the way back through the menu, diagnosis, heavy duty, etc. Or just come up under the red X at the top right corner, click on the little arrow, come down, find your Peterbilt with the Cummins. There you go. You're back working on the vehicle you're working on before. Tip number three is accessing the hidden information in wiring diagrams. So let's go and Select the wiring diagram for this particular unit. This is a Cummins ISX CM2250. And first thing is click around. You'll find all kinds of hidden information, some of it more useful than other. For example, picture of a battery, not that useful. But on other components in your wiring diagram, you'll see things, this card, generic check sheet. Click on that and it'll pull up information describing the component, how to test it, etc. So always, always, always click around to find more information in wiring diagrams. Tip number two is printing codes and other information. So here we've got a bunch of codes on our ECM on the bench and it's always wise to print it out so that you can show the customer the work that you've done or even just so you can keep track of the faults you had when the vehicle first came in. New in the uh, later versions of Texa is include freeze frame. This will increase the amount of time it takes to print and create a whole bunch more pages so recommend deselecting it unless you're really after all that freeze frame information. Click the check mark button. Texa is going to load a screen, shows you the print preview and gives you a few options of how it's going to print it. Uh, definitely is taking longer. See how it's thinking here. So even though it's not including the freeze frame information, it seems to be taking longer to do print screens in later versions where the freeze frame option is available. Now that Texas has created the print preview, we see we have a few options down at the bottom. Print, print PDF. Print in Windows 10 works really well because for most people, if you don't need to print to paper, you can just create a PDF copy and it gives you the option of saving it somewhere nice and easy. There we go. We've created a PDF version of our fault codes. You can scroll down and see what it looks like and what code information stored there. Easy to send to the customer via email, save for your own records, attached to an invoice. And the number one Texa Pro tip is System Scan. There's a reason it's the big button whenever you're on a diagnosis screen. Click on System Scan and it's going to provide you information both on systems that you can connect to, modules, controllers, etc. on the vehicle and give you a fault code report. 
It does take a little bit longer than if you're just going straight into a particular system on the truck, say if you're just going to, into the diesel diagnosis, but this is a great way to get a complete picture of the vehicle. It also helps you identify the emission level of the engine, what type of transmission, what types of brakes, rather than fumbling through trying to figure out whether you've got a Wabco D, Wabco E, Wabco DE, etc. System scan here runs through and identifies all those things for us. It typically takes a minute or two to do a system scan versus less than a minute to connect directly to any one of the systems. Looks like it should be done here pretty quick. We're going to get a list of the systems, modules, computers, controllers that we can connect to. Here, in this case, we actually have one modular controller because we just have an ECM on the bench. So we should come back with a bunch of red X's and probably one system with a yellow icon. So here we go. We have red X for systems that did not respond. We have the yellow exclamation for systems that have a fault on them, and there would be a green check mark for any systems that you can communicate with. And then over here on the right, DTC detected, we get a list of all the fault codes that we have. And of course, there's going to be a whole pile of them because we're connected to an ECM on the bench. Some other new features here in later versions. This is version 50.3 of Texa. I believe 50 and up comes with the wiring diagram access right here. But uh, and also, referring to pro tip number two, click here to print all the codes that you have on the vehicle in one shot. So the nice thing about this, if you do a system scan when you first get the vehicle into the shop, you have 10 codes, say, you go through, you fix all those. When you're done, before you want to send it out, do another system scan, print it out, give it to the customer, say, this is before and after. Came in with 10 codes, took us six hours to fix these things, here's your parts, here's your labor, and you're code free and you're on the road again. Thanks for checking out this Texa training video. Remember to stop by our YouTube channel every Tuesday where we're going to be uploading a new training video. Or pop by our website at jballelectronics.com for information on ECM tuning, diagnostic tools, wheel alignment, including the Manatech commercial, now six axle wheel alignment tool for commercial trucks. Remember on our YouTube channel to subscribe and check out our playlists to see other videos and other training. Cool.